Hello everybody, good news for my Deadshot mains out there, I have a really fun build for you. This is an endgame build intended for people who are hitting incursions hard. This build revolves around your traversal attack, which makes it so much fun. And it also revolves around a crit pistol. As you can see, it's holding its own against mastery level 39 enemies, and I don't see this build falling off for a while, if at all. It specializes in dealing with crowds, since there's no content in incursions that requires you to kill tanky enemies like destroyers. But our crit pistol can deal with them just fine, especially if you change a few of the perks around in your talent tree once we go over that. But as I said, the main focus of this build is on your traversal skill, and you will be spamming it regularly, and it is just chaos. You do not need to focus on anything. You can just turn your brain off and spam your traversal ability, and it shreds everything. Here's the skill tree. The only ones that you really need to decide if you want to take or not are down here. So runner's high. I took this for more insurance with damage reduction, but you could go with punching it for more melee. The rest is really non-negotiable. If you want to do a sniper build with the same build, you could spec in a sniper rifle specialist. We decided to go with pistol specialist just because, you know, sniper is just there mainly as a stat stick to give us our set bonus and extra stats that support us. And then other than that, we're going into carnage. Now, you could do Deadly Assassin if you feel like you're doing good enough already with your traversal skill, but I go into Carnage just so we can have even more resource buildup. Again, this is kind of overkill in my opinion. You don't need this. This is just what is like the cherry on top and lets you spam three of them in a row potentially. Whereas here, you're getting more longevity out of just your guns, but you're really sacrificing a lot of gun damage for more traversal buildup if you go with Carnage over Deadly Assassin. Nonetheless, I still took Carnage. All right, let's get into the gear itself. I'm going to start this off by saying we are using the tier three Bane system, Bane's Fury. Now, in order to get this, you need to beat the game, get in the end game, start doing incursions and get your finite grace just rank to 60 plus. Only when it's at 60 plus will you start earning the tier three stuff. And that is mainly what we're going to be benefiting from here. On top of that, we're also going to be using red tape, which is the Lex Luthor set, the cost of business set. We use it because we're going to be taking that 50% critical hit damage to brute enemies. That is going to make a big deal in the heat of things, makes taking down tanks much easier, especially since we're using a crit pistol build. We're also going to be modding onto our gear as much traversal attack resource gen and traversal attack damage that we possibly can. You'll always be able to see what I have modded on here. I changed the way these mods are added by going to Toymaker. Make sure you have Toymaker unlocked and all of his features unlocked as well. You can elite an item and then you can choose what each of the perks are themselves. So that'll help you hunt this down as well. Next, let's talk about why we're using the Bane set, the tier three one in particular. Mainly because the one piece set bonus makes it so that you deal 4% more damage to an enemy for each 1% of their health that's missing. So you deal more damage, the more damage you do. It's two piece bonus is also great because this is when Bane's Fury starts getting incorporated into the build. So critical hits on enemies that are below half HP will trigger a stack of Bane's Fury. A stack of Bane's Fury makes it so that you can deal 50% increased damage. You'll get another 50% on top of that if you're damaging a crazed enemy. This can stack up to 15 times and that means that you can have a 750% increase to just your raw damage, and then another 750% increase if you're attacking a crazed enemy. On top of all of that, you also get 5% chance to cause the enemy to explode on death and craze enemies within 10 meters, and that's per stack as well. The three-piece bonus is also phenomenal for this traversal attack build in particular, because anytime you attack an enemy with your traversal attack, it will craze them. And whenever you kill an enemy with Bane's Fury, you will get 10% traversal attack resource back. And whenever you do kill an enemy with a traversal attack, it gives you five stacks of Bane's Fury. So basically, you're always going to be at max stacks of Bane's Fury. And because of how much a traversal attack resource generation we have in this build, if you use your traversal attack on a group of enemies, you'll basically get it back immediately. As you saw before, we got three off in a row because we were attacking a crowd. Now let's talk about the rest of the build. Keep in note everything that I have modded on my pieces of gear. We're going to be running the neck bomb, the lucky charm, and one of our weapons as the three set Bane pieces. These are what I have modded on each. 
For a traversal mod, we're going to be running the Turtles Still Force Conduit. In my opinion, this is the strongest mod in the entire game because it essentially means you have 500% increased damage just for playing regularly. You will always be dealing that much. Basically, every second that you move around, you get 50% increased damage up to them, and that stacks up to 10 times. So, you know, as I said before, 500% damage at all times, essentially, while you're moving. We also put traversal attack damage onto this for obvious reasons. Now, I want to talk about our pistol and our grenade, because they go hand in hand. Here, we have a turkey shoot. Turkey shoot is really good here because of its legendary perk. It does 250% increased critical hit damage, and when enemies are stuck in slow motion, you gain 100% critical hit chance against them. That brings us to our grenade. Black Mask's target priority. This thing does not do damage. Instead, you throw it into a crowd, and it'll knock everybody up into the air, and they will be in slow motion. On top of that, they take 200% increased damage just from the grenade alone, so anytime you hit them with your weapons, they're going to be taking 200% more damage. That stacks with the guaranteed crits we get with the turkey shoot. Now this is great and all, but if you do not want to run the turkey shoot, because there are going to be plenty of shielded enemies, scavengers in particular, during these incursions, you could replace this with an armored piercing. It is not going to be nearly as strong as the turkey shoot, but it will make your life a lot easier if you want to be able to deal with shielded enemies using a gun. This just completely negates all the shields. You'll be able to directly attack anything that has a shield. It is very convenient. And if you decide to go with armor piercing, you can trade out your grenade from Black Mask's target priority to something like Paint Bomb, which increases your critical hit damage based off of the amount of enemies you hit with your grenade. Again, that's entirely up to you if you want. I personally am going to keep using Turkey Shoot and Target Priority, but if you do want to use Armor Piercing just for the ease of use and for the convenience of it, you can use whatever grenade you want. Paint Bomb is just my suggestion. The Sniper really isn't meant to be used in combat. It is essentially a stat stick so that we can have that Tier 3 Bane's Fury and because we can also benefit from a 3% Traversal Attack Resource Gen from Critical Hits. On top of that, we also get shield harvest chance and ammo pickup radius, but that's whatever. For melees, you can use whatever you want. I personally am using Two Faces Persuader because none of the other legendary melees really caught my eye, and because Two Face has a synergy with the band set. We basically have a 100% chance of getting grenade ammo and increasing grenade damage, which doesn't really affect us if we're using a black mask's target priority but we will have constant grenades on shield harvests that's another reason i like to use it now the game just came out and to say it's early and its lifespan is an understatement so if you guys see any cracks in this build let me know in the comment section of below to see how we can break the game even further i was actually in the middle of making a fire shark build when i tried deadshot and i just could not put him down this build was a blast to make and as you can see it's just absurd. I'm just flying through incursions with it. I've broken multiple world records. I know that doesn't really matter because the game just came out. They're going to surpass me very early on. But the fact that I was able to break record after record with this build proves that it is just incredibly strong. If you guys enjoyed the build, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Also, if you're looking for a clan to join up with, mine is available. You can find it by searching up Sons of Goobsteed. By the way, you will get a bunch of rewards if you join up with a clan. We can do it together. If you ever want to hang out live, check my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace.
finish. 